What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through the three keys to any successful Shopify store. Um, if you take a look at any successful Shopify store, they'll be doing each of these three things really, really well. And they'll be kind of like the three fundamentals, the three core elements that contribute towards their success. Um, think of this video as kind of like a really short course. I'm gonna to touch on each of these three points and go into them in detail um, and show you some good and bad examples of what to do, um, but sometimes more importantly, what not to do as well. So hopefully by the time you finish watching this video, you'll learn something new, you'll have something to take away and implement into your own store, which ultimately is gonna help you find some more success. And with that being said then guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the video um, and let's jump straight into it. So point number one is a professional and trust trustworthy website, trustworthy Shopify store. Before we jump into this, in fact, I just want to point out if you want to get your um, a copy of these notes so you have access to all these links, these stores and products and so on, um, you can download this document that's on screen now for free. There will be a link in the video description down below. So point number one is a professional and trustworthy site. This hands down has got to be one of the most important things because if somebody doesn't trust your site, they're not going to hand over their payment information and they're not going to buy their products from you. And it's the slightest little thing from a spelling mistake to just kind of like a weird layout to um, a Chinese symbol being in one of your product images that really can put people off. So if we have a look at these three sites that we have um, on screen now, first up we have sonavoshop.com. These guys are actually featured on the Exchange Marketplace. So if you wanna go ahead and find them and see what kind of numbers they've done, I believe it's over 2 million um, dollars selling this one product here. So they've obviously done really, really well. They wouldn't be able to produce those sorts of results if they didn't have a nice and clean professional site, which you can already see here. So what I'll do is I'll run through these three sites, just kind of point out the things that stand out to me. Um, but then I'll go through the notes. I've kind of consolidated all the key points um, and all the key mistakes I see people making to kind of help you improve and take away um, and integrate to your own site. So straight away, we can see it's quite a kind of clean and modernistic look. They've got a super kind of high quality hero image at the top here, which has some kind of cool coloring effects. So obviously they've paid a designer or they've done this themselves to kind of match the theme and look of their store. So the page you're on is highlighted in the same green which is kind of like the same faded out green in the hero image. It's also the same green which they have in their logo too. Again, some really nice images that are blacked out, high quality black and white, um, nice and clean font. It's not just an aerial or really basic font. It just, everything kind of combines into one really nice looking and feel of a website. If we move on to store number two, we have bluecrate.com. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these guys. Um, they started out as a typical dropshipping website, dropshipping physical products, but over the course of kind of like the last 18 months, they've transitioned into print-on-demand products. So if we use our Shopify um, inspector tool and go to products, uh, best sellers, their best seller is indeed this mini-me. And again, these guys are a proven seven-figure site. So if you're looking for products to go ahead and sell, then on screen now is a tried and tested proven product you can take away yourself now. Um, and as long as you do the other two things correctly as well, you'll be able to find some success. So again, it's the same kind of similar points. Everything looks really neat. Everything looks really professional. Everything is really condensed and easy to read, easy to follow. Nothing really looks ugly and out of place, if you know what I mean. Um, they've got plenty of reviews about the products just to kind of reinstill the social proof and trustworthiness of the site. And then in their footer, they've got all the kind of required pieces of information that a customer wants to see or would expect to see, even if they're not kind of consciously thinking. So many people, when they go onto a site, they won't be looking for, say, a privacy policy page, but if it's not there, then they might notice because something else has kind of triggered that thought in their mind, if that makes sense. So subconsciously, people don't necessarily look for these things, but if they're not there, something in their brain will tell them that something's not right about this particular site, um, and that's going to be enough to put them off, especially if they've never come across you before. If we move on to Pro Sleepy, um, these guys are one of my favorite sites. I just really like the look of how clean and crisp and obviously when it comes to sleep, then sleep is kind of like a calm and not spiritualistic, I can't think of the word, but it's just obviously it comes with a certain 
kind of thought. When you think of sleep, you don't think of like loud noises and loud music and raving. You think of just kind of calm and collected and everything they've picked in terms of the design and feel of the site, the colors is all geared towards having that same feeling, which makes the site look super professional. They've got custom images, high quality. They've put like the most important pieces of information in bold. So you're naturally drawn to that. So when you read it, it's always going to be a positive thing, which encourages you to buy the product. So for example, try Pro Sleepy a night and we guarantee you a better day. So straight away it's positive and it's encouraging people to actually go ahead and buy the product. And the same thing here, so top sleep experts immediately creates that kind of sense of professionalism and trustworthiness in the site. So to recap, when it comes to building a professional trustworthy website, these are some of the things in which I see people kind of um, not taking advantage of or certainly not implementing in their site. So if you are making some of these mistakes and you fix them, then I can pretty much guarantee it's going to affect your conversion rate for the better. So brand with color schemes we saw that in all three of the sites they're not just using the default stereotypical basic fonts um, the theme and the feel of the site matches the types of products they're selling so blue creator obviously selling really kind of fun um, and exciting products and that is kind of reflected in the type of imagery and the colors etc that they're using pro sleepy is obviously quite calm and relaxing and again that's reflected in the type of images um, the kind of um, colors they've used, sorry, and the fonts as well. Next up, all three of these sites have a track your order page. I can't stress this enough. Um, if we go to the bottom of Pro Sleepy, I believe it's down here. Nope, I am mistaken, it must be at the top. So track your order, bluecrate.com. I think these guys are at the bottom, track my order. And then if we just double check, so now over place, it's at the top there, so track your order. What this shows to customers coming onto your site um, is that once they've placed an order, they can track their order, which shows you're an active business and they can, people want to know they have access to you as a business and they have access to answers to their questions. Should any uh, like potential issues come up. Next up, we have extensive contact information. So this is something I see so many businesses not doing. They'll just have a simple at Gmail address and that's not good enough. A simple contact form only, that is not good enough. People want to know you're a legitimate and professional business. And if you wanna succeed and go to those big numbers, then you need to be a professional and legitimate business. So you need to have a telephone number, you need to have a physical address if possible. You can pay for all of these things. For A telephone number will cost you about five or six pounds a month. Um, and a physical dress, a bit more expensive, probably about 30 pounds a month, depending on how you decide to do it, whether it's a virtual address, PO box, or you simply just use your home address. Next up, we have high quality and original imagery. This is super important. Again, it comes down to that whole subconscious thing. If somebody's seen your ad before and then your site looks exactly the same as the next Shopify dropshipping site, then again, it's just off pointing for people subconsciously and it's just not gonna feel right for them. Whereas for instance, if you come up pro sleeping, they've got this really high quality original image that you probably won't find elsewhere on the internet. Um, then it just reinstills, even if customers aren't necessarily thinking about it, the fact that it is what it is, is enough to kind of subconsciously make them think you're more professional and more legitimate, if that makes sense. And obviously the more they feel like that, the more comfortable they're gonna feel um, shopping with you. Just to go through the final few points then, extensive customer reviews, we've seen this on all three sites, loads and loads of reviews for every single product that seems to be selling well for them. It's something like 63% of people will not buy a product if there isn't existing or positive customer reviews to prove that it's a good product. No default tax notes on product pages. So by default, depending on what theme you're using, um, it will say tax included, ship and calculate at checkout. None of these three sites use that, get rid of that. Custom icons and GIFs. So something I wanna show you for Pro Sleepy was, so images like this, you can see the mask has got Pro Sleepy a brand name on, which makes it look original and created specifically for this site. Chances are it probably wasn't, but the fact that everything is just kind of in keeping and has those little details and things makes it look more professional. Again, eliminate neck and back pain or get your money back. Um, they've got this really nice GIF here, which illustrates how the product works. These custom icons here, and I believe there's some further down. So you've got a real life person there demonstrating how the product works. Um, and again, some nice kind of custom icons about the particular product. And then again, a really kind of a perfect GIF really just to illustrate potentially how big this company is. Now the chances are they didn't pay for this to happen. They didn't film this GIF themselves, but the fact that it's on their site makes them look like a big company that have robots to actually test how good their products are when I'm pretty sure you can get this product on AliExpress. The final point, which is a super, super important one when it comes to professionalism and trustworthiness is there's evidence of real people behind the business. So when you have real people featured 
in images in your about us page then it makes it look so much more professional because there's actually real people behind the actual business if you know what i mean same for your ads as well it's always better to feature real people in your ads moving on to point number two then we have a product people want to buy arguably one of the most important things because if you have a poor product doesn't matter how good your site is nobody's going to buy it so when it comes to picking products then there's three kind of main points or main ways to identify products number one is in very high demand Demand. for example home gym equipment during covid gyms shut here in the uk everybody was buying secondhand gym equipment or home gym equipment it was super high in demand and therefore that made it a good product to sell because people were buying it everywhere point number two very unique and not seen before on other typical platforms like ebay and amazon like the knee braces when you see a product like this it's not necessarily a product you think oh i've seen that on amazon before because chances are you haven't which makes the customer think this is a unique business specializing in this particular product so so I'm going to buy it from these guys and that is just perfect kind of like a perfect recipe for success when it comes to advertising on platforms like Facebook and then point number three one of my favorite is super personalized to the customer like the mini me pillows by blue crate so when somebody comes across this particular product, I wouldn't have a clue where else to get this product from. It makes you think this company is the only guy selling it and they can personalize it to their friends and to themselves, which you just can't beat when it comes to relevance, which is why, again, just another recipe to success when it comes to selling products like that on Facebook. The more of these points, by the way, that you can combine in one product, then 100% the higher chance you've got of success. So for example, the reason why this mini me pillow's done so well is because it's super personalized. People can get their friend's face, their parents' face, their own face on it, which makes it super relevant to them and specific. It also gives you that humor factor, and it's also very unique too. It's something that people won't have seen anywhere else before. So it combines two of these three most important points, but the more you can combine into one, then the more success you're gonna have. So to illustrate a scenario where I see a lot of people going wrong when it comes to selecting products, they'll go into AliExpress, they'll see something like this, over 4,000 units sold, and they think, oh, it's a great product, there's tons and tons of units being sold. That's not the case. Thousands of orders does not always mean an easy product to sell or a good product to sell. The reason being, a platform like AliExpress, many people forget, is it's super popular in places like Russia um, and other Eastern countries where it's always gonna be the end user, the actual consumer buying the product. So somebody paying 30p or two pounds um, from this on AliExpress does not always translate into somebody paying say 20, 30 pounds um, through a Facebook ad. So you always have to keep that in mind. Point number two is not in high demand, i.e. it doesn't have a spike in popularity at any point. If your product is just kind of consistent throughout the year, then you're always gonna find it harder to sell a product like that versus a product which is gonna peak and spike in popularity through different times of the year. Point number three, a product like this is not very unique. It's easily sourceable from eBay or Amazon or any kind of bathroom or DIY shop. So when somebody sees something like this and you're selling it for 20, 30 pounds because you're trying to make your margins, somebody's gonna think, I know half a dozen, if not a dozen different other shops or websites in which I can get this from, I'm gonna go check out the price on there first and you're never gonna be able to compete with some of the big guys like Amazon or eBay. Number four, it's not personalized either. So being able to build that kind of relevance, what you ideally want is when somebody actually sees your products, they see it and they think I have to buy that. And because it's super unique and super personalized to them, they don't even consider trying to look for it elsewhere. And then the final point, which is pretty obvious, is also too cheap to make a profit. I see this all the time especially with the new VAT rules in the UK there's no need to sell cheap products now we can go out and sell products that have 20 30 40 50 pounds profit margin trying to sell this for I challenge anybody watching this video to try and sell one of these for 30 pounds it's just not going to happen moving on to the third and final point also another super kind of key ingredient to any successful e-commerce site um, is the actual marketing campaign slash brand itself. So most people watching this won't have an established brand, which means they're gonna have to resort to spending 10 pound on Facebook ads to see 20 pound back in order to make a profit so they can keep reinvesting into the business and running ads and so on. If you have a brand, if you're Kim Kardashian, if you're a household name like Amazon, then obviously you don't need to spend as much on marketing because people know who you are and because of who you are, they're gonna buy products from you. So brand doesn't need to spend as much on marketing, new businesses do obviously, otherwise you're not gonna get any traffic. So to give you some examples of really successful Facebook ads and I'll show you why they're successful. 
um, and then I'll just open these up first. So first up we have the diffuser by Wonder Dream. Um, the kind of engagement, etc., speaks for itself. Um, 15,000 engagement, 5K comments, and when you flick through the comments too, um, they're also they're always really, really positive. This is the hardcore kind of evidence I look for behind a product before I go ahead and test it. If people are commenting really positive things about something, then there's there's no kind of like argument whether it's a good or bad product or not because the the evidence is there if you like. Moving on to ad number two is this dog bed, anxiety dog bed. I'm sure you would have seen this before if you've been in the drop shipping space for a while. But just look at the engagement, nearly 50,000 reactions, which is just crazy. Um, 11,000 comments. The ad itself, the video itself, it's not even that high quality, but it's just super to the point. It shows a real dog enjoying the bed with a silly grin on its face and that is enough to sell a product to a particular dog owner but again if you look at the comments it took a few days but he loves it now 37 likes and loves all the customers coming back posting images of their bed that's been received um, and this is absolutely brilliant when it comes to converting people into customers because when people can see real people on Facebook posting about the product then it just kind of removes any kind of hesitations it removes any kind of wall they may have built about whether they should trust you or not ad number three this is the best one to save the best till last so only 21,000 engagements but look at this 153,000 comments that is nuts I don't think I've ever seen an ad Ad, um, with that many comments on and look at the type of products it's just perfectly suitable for Facebook as soon as you see this the first thing you want to do is tag your mates in it all that organic reach they would have got off this one ad the amount of money they must have made from this one ad must have been incredible just to finish off the video then and reiterate the points they were it's all original content but the actual dog bed maybe this isn't original and they've probably sourced it from elsewhere i'm guessing they have by the fact they've just kind of put a weird looking logo in the top left so buy that one ad it's all original content it shows the product being used or by the actual consumer so obviously they're not just demonstrating the belt they've got somebody putting it on their buckle and actually showing you how it would work in the real environment too and that's super important is that you show it in a real in a realistic and the real environment and that's super important the dog bed is obviously being displayed in somebody's living room because if you display a product being used in its end environment it makes it that much easier for the end user for the consumer to kind of picture that product then being used in their house or for them to be wearing the belt buckle at the next party or whatever it is point number three is responding to comments so if we have a flick through down here we can see the actual seller of the product so ninny pet is very active in the comments section which again it just kind of legitimizes the business they're active and it makes it look like that if you want to ask a question or if you have an issue then it's super easy to get in contact and they're super responsive too so any potential issues then you know they're going to get sorted which again just eliminates any kind of hesitations you have about whether you should trust a business or not and then point number four super important is it works with or without sound or subtitles so obviously not everybody's going to click to listen to the ad but if we watch all three of these through you can see there's kind of like the key points and key features of the products that always kind of pops up the way through just to kind of explain what the product is should somebody not um, have their sound turned on and with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up there um, if you stuck with me this long i super super appreciate it um, i really hope i've taught you something new or given you some ideas anyway to take away from this video and implement into your business and ultimately um, help you be more successful that's why i do these videos um, and the final kind of point to take away from this is take your time when building your business definitely quality over quantity if you skip some of these corners ultimately it's going to lead to um, not the kind of results in which you'll be hoping for so take your time put out something super professional super high quality and trust me it'll pay dividends in the end with that being said then before you go one final thing if you are looking for a course but more than a course like a support system somebody to learn from who has experience that can take you through step by step um, then make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. It's run by myself. I created it myself being based in the UK. Once you join as well, you get lifetime access and you also get access to me as well. So as you go through your journey of building your business, you can get in touch with me, ask me any questions you want and I can help you out. Um, as much as you need me to basically there is a free callback service too so if you want to hop on the phone with me directly um, go through any questions or hesitations you have about joining and um, we can do so so just make sure you check out the link in the description below thanks again for watching and see you in the next one